Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. I can feel hey, the Dennis. energy in the room today. Hi. Uh, we can tell this is this is the podcast before E3 comic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can. Anyway. The podcast <clears throat> of doom. Oh, the podcast of doom. Hello, fellow Cravers, and welcome to the CTG podcast for Wednesday, the 10th of June. We are less than a week away from E3 2015, and less than a day away from the Steam Summer Sale, by the sounds of things, as well. I can't wait for my wallet to get raped. <laughs> yeah, luckily, my Be- wallet. Better than your ass, then, though, isn't it? <laughs> as always, you have me. <laughs> As always, you have me, GD, you have Cadge, and you've got Doc, and hey. nothing, no guest. No guest. No guest. We, we have Pokemon felt... instead. Yeah, yeah we, we got Pokemon instead. Oh, come on. Seriously, was that the hardest decision you have ever had to make when you was a kid? What? Yeah. That you had to pick your starter Pokemon. <laughs> who, who did everyone have? I had uh, Bulbasaur. I was bald, so I thought, but I wanted Charmander. But at the time when I first got it, <laughs> I wanted Charmander. I thought this, but I wanted Charmander. <laughs> I thought, I thought this, I wanted Charmander. Well, Charmander. Oh, yeah. well yeah. yeah, the thing is, Charmander was the hardest one to start with, considering the first two bosses were um, a rock type, yeah. which is fire as shit against, yeah. and then a water type. So it was very hard to start with Charmander. Yeah, I was at Charmander. Billy, Billy says um, Charmander all the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, ooh, I, I, ooh. Was, I was a Bulbasaur. Um, so anyway, um, as as we noticed, apart from last week was, which was really really weird. We barely had any news. Well, what happened last week? We had um, oh, what's it? we had Lego Worlds. We had art coming out. All out. Oh yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah, that little <laughs> game. That's the one I was avoiding to say. I actually genuinely forgot what happened. What news came out last week? That's how far my head is up my ass. <laughs> Yeah, no, but we didn't talk about Ark in the podcast, did we? No, we didn't. Do you know what? That was, that, oh, that looks awesome. It looks awesome. We might as well start I want with that. It. Um, I want yes, it. A game. What was it? It's Ark. What's the full name? Ark. Ark Survival Evolved. Survival Evolved. Survival Evolved. Now, I've not played it yet, but I've watched Doc play it and I've watched other people play it. It looks brilliant. but It I, really is. I can't stop thinking. It reminds me of Stomping Land. Is it Stomping Land? No, nah, nah, it's... it's... From what I've seen, it's completely different. Like the leveling system's really good. It looks good. I mean, it's not optimized yet, which they're working on. But like, there's I've had about four or five updates so far. Hmm. It's like today we were um, in our little camp. Yeah. And we got absolutely dick raped by a big Goranosaurus. <laughs> I just came in and was like, "Are you mine?" Uh, so how far have you actually gotten into the game so far? I'm guessing you've built a little... I'm level... I've died a lot. You've but died. you keep your level. <laughs> oh, like I said, I'm level... I've, I've died, died a lot. lot. I have to stay. I had, stuff. I had I, you know, I tamed a Triceratops. was really cool. Got killed. What, what is the most embarrassing thing you've been killed so far in that game by? Well... I would please I was... say it was the dodo. <laughs> It, it was, was six dodos. <laughs> they grouped up on me like wild chickens. It's, like, it's, the, it's the goat in Lego Worlds all over again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'd say the dodos like that happened. I was fine with that. It's one of those. It, everything just wants to kill you in that game, though. Like, I'm obviously the docile ones, which are like, oh look, someone's walking past me. Then you get like the raptors. They're like, <laughs> give me a hug with my mouth. <laughs> But no, like, anyone wants to play it, I fully recommend it. Well, it's, it's definitely one of those games I will get when I've um, gotten myself a new PC, at least. Just uh, think DayZ, but might actually get finished. Oh. <laughs> with dinosaurs, mm. with stuff that works, that isn't DayZ. Well, we was, we was on about this, was it a couple of days ago? Uh, because we, me and Doc's done the end card for this week, and um, we was talking about saying that it seems like it's dinosaurs that's taken the place of zombies now in gaming 
everyone seems There's to be There's not been a decent it. dinosaur game since Dino Crisis. <sighs> Which, uh, talking about that, that is one of the games I want to see being announced at E3. I want to see a new Dino Crisis be announced. Yeah. 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 I, I think we are we are due time and it's the perfect opportunity with Jurassic Worlds coming out at the end of the week. Um the Lego game, um Ark as well. It's a perfect time for a Dino Crisis game to come out as well. Join in the fun before it gets saturated with dinosaurs like we had with zombies. The thing is, it's like anything. It dinosaurs is the end thing. We've had zombies, but yeah, it's like films as well. It's whatever is popular at the time, everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Mm. Do you want to think? I mean, I've always liked uh, dinosaurs. Yeah, I've always, I've always liked dinosaurs but, as well, but like I say, at least for a few years now, it's been zombies has been the main thing, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's been like, that's been the popular thing. So obviously, developers are going to say, we'll throw a uh, zombies in there. Mm. They're popular. They might sell a few extra copies. So what what would you like to see after dinosaurs be the next big thing? Um, sharks. Sharks. Would that count as dinosaurs uh, though? No, because they're not dinosaurs, the fish. What about uh, there, there's a shark in. Oh, there's a megalodon in. Um, exactly, which oh, is technically a shark. There's quite a lot of megalodons in Ark, and I found them all. <laughs> I found by, one. I found one. By accident. Or they found you? You mean? Well, I jumped into the water where it's swimming. It's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, God. yeah, of course. <laughs> oh shit! Just one minute. Just wanna give it a hug. Uh, so, so you want to see sharks? You want to see shark fish? Which we already have. <laughs> technically, we've got depth as well, which is a game we've not oh, actually yeah. spoken about, which looks extremely cool. Uh, where what I get is there's a team of two people who are sharks, and the oh rest no, that looks terrible. What that one? Where the rest is super scoop dive? Yeah, that looks terrible. Oh, why, why? Why? That looks like a fun game. I want to be a shark. <laughs> well, um, as Doc's Doc... attention's been a uh, <laughs> why, elsewhere. I <laughs> no, uh, I think personally for me, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, there's genres I'd like to see revitalized. Whole genres. For example, I'd love to see more decent superhero games along the. I would as well, actually. Because um, ba we've got the Batman the Arkham City. Batman uh, Arkham City? Yeah. Before uh, that, Batman Arkham Knight? <laughs> Arkham Asylum? Yeah, Arkham Knight. Right, take out the Arkham games. Yeah. Name one more good superhero game. One good one, it was very arcade. Uh, the Marvel Ultimate Marvel Ultimate, uh, Ult uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Hmm. What about uh, Lego Superheroes? But, sorry? The Lego Superheroes. Yeah, what that? about the Lego Superhero <laughs> games? They, aren't they got no. an Avengers one coming out this year as well? It would help if I actually played that game to be able to comment on that game. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think... Uh, it, this, this other genres, they don't the, really make them that well. Uh, well, some of them don't port very well, like Superman games. He's just so OP from the beginning. Um, Heavenly says detectives. Detective games, yeah, they are coming slowly into it. I mean, there was well, that super Murdered Soul Suspect was one. Yeah. One, of, one of the best games I've played for a while as a single player what? game. Uh, what? L.A. LA Noire? No, game. no, not that one. Um, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Yeah, that's I, cool, then. I, yeah. I, I always recommend that game. If you want a single slow paced game, that is one game I would always recommend you go and play. Um I I was surprised I surprisingly enjoyed that game a lot. Yeah. Which I thought I would I'm with Billy Cowboys. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we're having cowboys, then I want aliens. But that that even jumped on the <laughs> uh, zombie bandwagon with the undead nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite fun though. Well then talking about um Undead Nightmare would you guys want the announcement of a new Red Dead at E3 this yeah. year? I, I, I reckon it's about time they did it. Mm. If everyone, everyone, everyone wants it. Mm. I, I've not played any of them, to be honest. And the thing is, now, what's Rockstar's, Rockstar's next uh, That's a good point. big thing? The, they've done GTA for oh, PC, yeah. you know, that were like the final thing. GTA, yeah, right. GTA 5 on mobiles! 
<laughs> oh god, no. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna take over the world! <laughs> um... No, I reckon, I reckon they'll do a Red Dead. I think it's time for a new th- Red Dead yeah, as it's... well. It, that's that's what I'm starting to notice with Rockstar itself. Uh, where we was on about Bethesda, what we've been on about Bethesda for the past couple of weeks, where it's all it's, it's Fallout, then it's Elder Scrolls, then it's Fallout, then it's Elder Scrolls. Yeah. You no, could say they don't, no, 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 no. They did two Fallouts in a row, then Skyrim. And then uh, do we have two oh, Fallouts. Yeah, do, yeah, but do you really And then they did Elder Scrolls, Scrolls online but, after Skyrim. But, but you know what I mean. When it comes as a main number game, it's always been Fallout, then Elder yeah. Scrolls, then Fallout, then Elder Scrolls. So, so they're the main money makers. So, so I won't be surprised. Rockstar slowly becoming the same as well. Well, it will yeah. be Red Dead, then GTA, then Red Dead, then GTA. Well, they've got other things they could fall back on. I mean, uh, if you remember the game Bully or Carnage Kingdom Edit, if you had the PS2 version. I just remember so much controversy around that buddy game, yeah. and then I played it, and it was like um, shit. What else has Rockstar <laughs> got? Can't oh, they got that got. ping pong game. <laughs> they could do a second L.A. Noir. Oh, yeah. L.A. Noir, yeah. But that's it. Like, they don't bring out games all the yeah. time, like, say, Activision does and stuff like that. I know mm. it's different. <laughs> Watch this. I'll, I'll go on the thing now, and they'll be like, I'll list the games that you've got. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, you know, they're more like Bethesda, where they just bring out a really good title. Yeah, they, that's what they're good at. They always yeah. bring it. That's why I've got huge respect for Bethesda. That's why I've got huge respect for... Max Penn? Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, good games. Yeah. I midnight think, Club? Uh, I think that's dead now, isn't it? It depends when, when if they want to... When was the last time they had a Midnight Club? Uh, I forgot they did Midnight Club. Yeah. That was a uh, high yeah, but... I think I'd done a PSP. Exactly. <laughs> I've got it, I think I've got it for 360 somewhere. But, um, well, they've got so they've got a lot of studios. Well, they've got Leeds, Lincoln, London, New, mm. New England, New yeah. North, San Diego, and Toronto. Well, it's usually North that makes the best of the games, isn't it? They've oh. always been the lead. When yeah, we're making when we're making up. a good game, it's usually North that does it, which is nice. So the thing is, that's the reason why I've got respect for Rockstar and Bethesda because they always go with quality over uh, quantity. Yeah, when it comes Absolutely. to their games, and. The thing is, okay, uh, Acti- I hate, that's why I hate about Activision is because, oh, it's a new yearly thing. It's Call of Duty, blah, 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 whatever we're going to be calling this next piece of crap. Or it's, um, or even Ubisoft are doing the same thing. I have not bashed Ubisoft in a while now, and I'll get a chance to again. With their Assassin's Creed, it's all their Skylanders. Yeah. That's um, Activision. You don't, get, you don't get enough time to enjoy no, you don't. the game. Bloody body harvest, not bloody lightly, but I can dream. What? <laughs> it's a game. That's a game. Thanks, Billy. But I'm, I'm going to say you harvest dead bodies. I'm, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> well, wait, is this the new um, Harvest Moon? I love Harvest Moon. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> it's like Farmville, but better. <laughs> Fucking Farmville. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mobile games. Har- Harvest Harvest Moon is uh, it's a Nintendo title, isn't it? Uh, usually, uh, uh, it's uh, what are they call farming simulator. <laughs> yeah, but I can't remember the company makes it. Does oh, it matter? It doesn't really matter. No, we we know it's an, it's usually Nintendo exclusive. Yeah, it's on um, PS Vita. It's on Nintendo, probably. It's Nintendo. It, Oh, Natsum. Natsum. Yeah. Owned by Nintendo, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. But it is on, Sorry. like, it was a PS2 version. And there is some on the. I think it was PSP, not the PS Vita, but it's on Vita. Apparently, Body Harvest is by uh, GTA. I thought that was Cops and Robbers, which was inspired by. It was inspired by GTA, that they actually changed the name of Cops and Robbers. To GTA, and it started becoming popular through that. <laughs> Is this the N64 version? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Why are we waiting for him to answer that? <laughs> I think yeah, we might as well move on to the next um, subject. 
why we're talking to Billy about this, I think he, one of the, his most favourite games, which he was talking about all day yesterday, is going to be coming out this fall. And that is what? the next. He Sonic... should be on this call if we're going to talk about this. What? He should be on the call if we're going to talk about this. No, nah, I'd rather hear him scream from here. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice is going to be coming to the 3DS this fall. Sonic's my... not dead yet. <laughs> My phone was going mad last night because you got on Twitter about that. They, they should I'm just so, they should just kill him now. Like I, I come into the comments, head, 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 head and pull the bloody. I, I come into, I actually got to it where someone mentioned Fallout, and I thought I popped my head out the out the pit I was in at the time, and by that time it all passed me by. Yeah. Now it's um basically there we go the scream. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, if you don't know about it, um, Sonic Boom, which is um, the new Sonic the Hedgehog's um, reboot, I guess, uh, which have a TV show and bits and pieces, which is just completely a lot of crap. Um, the next, the next game, which is going to be coming out this autumn, is called Fire and Ice. I think this is the last game that is um, signed as an exclusive to Nintendo. So in the Sonic so then, series. Then, so then the rest of us can have that bullshit. Yeah, pretty much. They've probably been saving it. We're probably going to get the an actual proper no, Sonic no, game. No, no, no. I just thought I just thought <laughs> another game that's probably going to be uh, Nintendo exclusive. Mario and Sonic at the next Olympic Games. Because mm. we will get Mario. Yeah, it's Rio, isn't it? Next. Yeah. Hey, going to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> how stupid a Sega! Oh, very stupid. That really? absolutely, it's just terrible. Like, there's no need to bring out a Sonic game. It that it, like okay. So you had Sonic One, Two, Sonic and Knuckles. Stop. What else has Sega got though? <laughs> they should just like blow themselves up. <laughs> they the wow. Dust. The, the... Well, this, they haven't made a decent game for a long time. Football Manager. I don't think they actually make it. I think oh, they just distribute make. it. Bayonetta? Yeah. Oh no, sorry, they, well, they published that. They didn't actually make it. Uh, that was Platinum that made that. Um, who makes Star Ocean? Oh. Yeah, la, 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 la. Square it's got Square. It's Square? Okay. So yeah, um, yeah. I think it's like Final Fantasy Space, technically. We need to find out what Sega actually makes now that isn't Sonic. <laughs> But that's it, they don't, they don't make anything, because they, they're shy. Aww. To be honest, just give up on Sonic now. No one no one is caring about him anymore. Or, just go back to the old school Sonic. I think one of the better games that came out from Sonic this last decade was Sonic 4. Saying that, they did publish uh, A Nice Legend, didn't they? Yeah, did that, they? yeah they did, actually. Because yeah. the only reason they did that is because they still got the rights to Alien. Yeah, but yeah, they did publish it. That was their last good that was game. Their, that was like their best movie they've done since Sonic and Knuckles. Mm. They've got Fancy Star. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, but no, that's terrible. <laughs> because I, because Kaj mentioned Star Ocean because there's a new Star Ocean game coming out, which is probably going to be announced at E3 as well, properly uh, for a Western release. Mm. I think I played. Um, you know Sonic on the Dreamcast? I think I played that a little bit. Yeah. I think I liked it for a little while. I, like I said, I played Sonic 4, which was actually good, because it went back to the old school Sonic. No, Sonic right, 4... The, the, these are some of the uh, games which are apparently franchises they own. Afterburner. Right. Alex Kid. Yeah, okay. Uh, Altered Beast. I'll get, just do I'll some... Get, yeah, but these are the ones that were out years ago when they oh, were actually this, decent. No, wait, that is a perfect idea. Sega. Crazy do, Taxi. Yeah, Crazy Taxi. But Sega, do Altered Beast again. It's the perfect time. It's now dinosaurs instead of zombies. This is the perfect opportunity I've for I've got it. one. I've got one. There's actually, they actually own a game called Dinosaur King. Which well, no one's heard of, so it's quite no, clearly I, unfortunately, Echo I the Dolphin. Oh yeah, forgot about. Yeah, but they, these these aren't games. They're, they're other old school games. They're not made. Fist of the decent. North Star. Well, that's, that's a new that's game. Good. Fist of the North Star was a new game. Well, PS2, if you call it new. Golden Axe. They didn't release that on 360. 
What's this? We'll find we'll find one now which is Jet Set Radio. Ah, uh, yeah, I would love to see a new Jet Set Radio. Jurassic Park? Never heard of it. <laughs> um <laughs> How many of these have been touched since they made consoles? That's from Billy. Well, most of them are like PS2. Nope. Nope. Uh, surprisingly, they own the, they own the NBA 2K uh, franchise, NFL 2K, and NHL 2K. Uh, what? Are you sure? That's what it says here. That's what it says here. NBA 2K, NFL 2K, and NHL 2K. I've got a feeling you, you, where you're getting your information might be a little bit wrong, mate, because I swear... We, if we anyone could, do knows, not... Do I, not... I, I, the Wikipedia. I, I, do not I, I, swear, with, I do swear, if anyone owns those ones, just from the titles alone, <laughs> probably will be 2K. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to say this to you. How many NHL 2K and NFL 2K games have they made? point they've only done uh, NBA lately have they oh wait, wait, wait one minute one minute oh let's just release oh they've actually got a release oh one 2014 fantasy star game 2000 uh, I think we should move on to Sega because I'm going to get angry like now what was that Sega game for my life. <laughs> what was that dark <laughs> So we should move on Sh from Sega because I'm going to bash him and then they're going to ban me from buying Sega games. Because uh, yeah, what are you, you? You've never heard of it before, this one. You've never, ever heard of it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Streets of Rage. Oh, I want Streets of Rage now. Okay, okay let, let's move away from the list because I'm getting bored Tor of God's Tor Tor and Earl. Yeah. Tor and Earl. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Virtua Fighter. Yeah, but they haven't made a decent game for such a they long haven't. time. That's they should the just they give up. They should just like, these... cut their losses and not get another job in the game studio because they don't know how to make games anymore. Just sell your stuff. That's the best thing. Uh, they don't have the licensing for those games anymore, according to Billy. They probably had made those games. Doesn't mean they've still got the licenses. It's like, who's making Jurassic World? It's question. Lego's got that now. Mm. <laughs> uh, question. Question. Uh... I think it's got the Total War franchise. Doc? It's <laughs> <laughs> it says here, also including franchise list is Total War. While the series did not begin with Save It as either pub developer or publisher, oh, they went on to publish the games. I've never seen yeah. so many stars on the chat box, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not <laughs> happy with this conversation anymore. <laughs> So there you go, there's one game series that they got out. Yeah, well, I don't get yeah, me wrong. Yeah, but they're only publishing it. That's the thing, they're good at publishing, doesn't mean that they're good at making the games anymore. No. Um, it's like doesn't... EA, we don't really trust it's them It's not a 2D side scroller game, game. they can't around. fucking make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, anyway... It's more than 8 bits, what are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. So, so anyway, so... Like we said, Sonic, there's a new Sonic game coming out this fall. Um, no one wants it. I'm not surprised. Um, I think. I might buy it. Us... Have you got a 3DS? <laughs> You'll yeah. buy a 3DS as well. Huh? Oh, I got one. You got one. Go. All right, buy it. I, I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Area pieces like, is it in? I like to point out. Um, I like to point out the last Sonic Boom games got at most about forty percent. I know. Of I know. I'm pretty aware. <laughs> I'm not, even, I'm not really going to buy at least, it. At least it got more than what the FIFA film got. I'd rather burn the money. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't spoken about that yet, have we? About I think FIFA we mentioned film. it last week. FIFA film. Um, if, if people don't know, we've spoken about it, but we didn't actually mention it. Um, it was that there was a FIFA film that went, came out last week in America. And how much did it make again? About nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, it made in one in what, cinema. It made nine dollars, which equated to one person buying a ticket. I'm not surprised. No one likes FIFA anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's how they took the bribes out. I, I, I'm happy what's happening with FIFA because it is the funniest thing ever. Because of living in England, you hear about the corruption of FIFA so much. Now something's actually happening. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like they weren't ever going to be corrupt, is it really? And yeah, but don't get me wrong, they're, more, they're the most corrupt company in the world. Oh yeah. And unfortunately, they make Mafia bosses look good. 
That's how bad they were. <laughs> oh, they, they are a to be honest, to be honest, more to be honest. things are corrupt. Yeah, talking about corrupt. Let's talk a little bit about EA. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now let's talk about EA. They um, have given us a bit more information about Mirror's Edge. Basically telling us what they told us a couple of months back, that this is not Mirror's Edge 2. This is a new is it, reboot. Is, this is a reboot. Called, is it Mirror's Edge Catalyst or something like that? Yeah. It's called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, it's the Basically, it's a new reboot. So they're basically forgetting the last game. Are they going to be bringing this out? Um, well, which is the last game. The last game was year. amazing. I loved the last game, but a lot of people didn't actually get it. Unfortunately, I'm one of them. Mm. I, I did. I enjoyed it, and people who actually bought it enjoyed yeah. the game. Um, but it didn't appeal to everyone. Why they bring it out again? I don't know. Probably a bigger market for it now. Everyone loves free running again, don't they? <laughs> yeah, but I just like. Yeah, no, when it first came out and I got it, I was just so happy with it. I'd sit there for ages playing it. Mm. Well, like I said, I enjoyed it. Bit of I, go, it's all right. So I'm I'm looking forward to this next game coming out. I don't mind if mm. it's a reboot. Um I'll play it again. Yeah, exactly, same here. And it's gonna look beautiful in my opinion. We're gonna see more of it at E at EA's press conference. It's more of a guaranteed if anything now. Um probably give us an actual fixed date when it's gonna be coming out. Yeah. Which is nice. Um, so uh, that's one game we can look forward to. But talking about EA, talk about the press conferences, what else would you like to see coming out at EA's press conference this year? What would I want to see or what am I expecting? Expecting. I, I just want to know how much they're going to make through DLC again. <laughs> or how much they want to make through DLC. It's no, the best I way. <laughs> well, the thing is... There's so many games that EA actually own or have a part of. Or well, things we already know. Some of the games are going to be talking about. They're going to be talking. You get all sports, sports games yeah, for a start. NFL, NHL. You'll get FIFA. Uh, why have we got FIFA? With FIFA's, they're going to show more about the women's international teams this year because it's their next big feature. It's mainly a graphic improvement that they've said. <laughs> it wasn't yeah, last year. Extra corruption in it. Yeah. Oh come on! Well, I want to see that in the management sim in the in yeah. the, the career mode. Yeah. take this pride. <laughs> Sims Five, Quinta Billy. No. Sims Five. <laughs> no, we don't, um, no, it won't be. Sims that, no, they'll 5 just yet. do expansions, expansions for that. <laughs> yeah, they've not made their billions from expansion yet, so they got they can't make a new game till then. <laughs> but we'll get a battlefield game. Oh, or at some, least uh, battlefield or a sneak peek of something like that. Yeah. Um. Um. What else have they got? Is Criterion under EA? I don't know. You've got Google. You, you, you do your own research. I'll do research in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, um, you lazy. I don't son. give a damn if I'm lazy. Um, well, okay. Like we said, there's certain things that we're expecting to see. But what would you want to see as well? Um, EA only. Four point five. Um, something that's not. The same as what they usually shit shit the ring out. I would like to see something new. Um, it would be nice to see something new come from them, a new IP. Um, I think this is the best time of year to do time. Is Need for Speed uh, EA? Yes, they're going to be showing the reboot. Aren't oh they? fuck's sake! Yeah, That's I forgot one. about that. <laughs> <sighs> um, Doc, what about you? What would you like to see apart from Sims? <laughs> Definitely not the Sims. Uh, I would, I would like something new, like that isn't the Sims or the usual shit they bring out. Oh, you want a new IP, don't you? I think we all want a new yeah, IP, I'll, but I'll we don't want something new. So it doesn't come out every year. And... Uh, so we we want something new, but we don't know what it is. <laughs> that's that's what we've got to yeah. at the moment. Something new. We don't we, care what it is. We all, we all want new, new IP. Just because we don't want any more reboots. Exactly. I'm getting yeah, sick sequels of can only go so far. Like mm. you know, when you when you've got like Assassin's Creed 80, you go a bit, a bit fucking bored of sneaking around stabbing people in the neck. Hmm. It's not just that. I I don't really care if they bring out a new Battlefield or not. Um, because I they will I'm do. Not, I'm not a fan of Battlefield. I've never been a fan of Battlefield. Hardline was shit in my opinion. Well, the, the next one will be Battlefield. 
five. Right. Well, no, no, yeah, more than nine. Yeah, they'll go. They'll go to a, a numbered one again. Which will probably be coming out sometime in Lego 2016 Sims. and then comes out in 2017 instead. Lego Sims. Sims for right. Definitive Edition! <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what else uh, EA actually on, which which will shit the crystal in our face. Do they Who wants Tekken? Who wants Tekken? That's. Uh... Cool. That's. It's not EA. It's. Um... It's a Japanese one, isn't it? So Namco. it's not EA. Yeah, it's, yes, Nam no. it's Namco Bandai. No, it's Bandai Namco, I remember. Oh, they yeah, sorry, it. sorry. Yeah, they changed it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, like I say, it's, we anything you really you want a new IP to go along with some thing. But I'm trying to think of the, some of the games they've got, um, which I actually yeah. expect for a sequel. One thing I don't want them to see, but I can't, I've got a feeling they will do this sooner or later. They jump on board with the interactive toy area. And joining the fun, yeah, join in the like, fun with Disney and Nintendo and that Yeah, division. but it's EA, so they'd be like, "Oh, buy the base, and for extra, buy the lead that connects it, and for extra, buy this that it makes it work, and for extra, buy us to finish it." Yeah, but you got to think about it. This would be a perfect idea for them if they jump on board with this, make the little toys that work with all their games. So then they've got the DLC that they can people can buy with the little toys. You know, like what Nintendo do at the moment. <laughs> uh, just, no. I just. I think I might just like that. I'm excited for is Lego Dimensions. There might be one game I want. I want. I want, might want to see. I need to find it. To make sure it's Mass Effect. Oh God, yeah, I forgot about that. They might talk a little bit. I more want about that. An, a new Mass Effect. I know they're doing one apparently. I won't be surprised if we get some more information about the next Mass Effect and what it's going to be called because it's. Not going to be four, is it? Uh, half because... effect. Sorry. Half effect. Half effect. Yeah. And another <laughs> game you'll hear about, which I think Doc might be interested in, is uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh... Yeah, it's going to be Battlefield with Star Wars, isn't it? Really. Pretty much, yeah. They're like, Thanks. oh, to get to kill this person, <laughs> buy this DLC. Uh, another another one you might uh, you'd be interested in, uh, GD, Plants vs Zombies. Oh yeah, they've announced that they are on about making modern uh, Garden Warfare 2. Um, mm. Something like that. Which I'm, hopefully I can't wait to see because it, the last one was one of the, one of my favourite games as a first person shooter. Or was it third? I don't mind. It was a great third game. Person. Third person, there's, but it was a great game. There's three, there's four to be announced games in according to Wikipedia with, with uh, EA. Untitled Mass Effect, which we just touched on. Yeah. Uh, untitled Criterion Games new IP. So that's going to be yeah, for so Criterion. So it's going to be the next. Uh, now. Untitled <laughs> Bioware Star Wars game. Now that could be interesting. Bioware, the one that do Mass Effect and they do Dragon. Yeah, Age. yeah. They've done. They've done. Um, they hit. They've done this uh, Star Wars Online and um, not so public. Mm. And Untitled Visceral Games Star Wars game. Don't get me wrong, I don't really care about Star Wars games. Yeah, but, yeah, but Star Wars at that time, especially, is going to be big. <laughs> really, I'm fine. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Remove Jar Jar DLC for £500. <laughs> they, they'd make their millions in a day. They would. <laughs> they make sure that it shows up in every scene. <laughs> Just always have a judge of Binks in the top left corner of your screen. Always yeah. talking to you. <laughs> you should uh, think you're gonna die. You can do it, Annie. Go, go. <laughs> oh, stupid judge. <Jar> <laughs> um. Anyway, talking. Let's move on to one of the other ones. Um, Microsoft. That's a good one to move on to, um, because they have announced this week. Their new one terabyte um, Xbox One, um, yeah. and a an permanent price drop for the old Xbox Ones. Now that it's about three hundred pounds for a new Xbox One, I really feel sorry for anyone who's bought an Xbox One in the past week. <laughs> but also, I, no, I don't. No, I, you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm cruel. Yeah. I'm cruel like that. But I think one of the biggest features that is going to be shown with this new Xbox is the controller itself. 
where now it's going to have an actual jack in the bottom of the Xbox One which works with headsets, any headsets, not just the Microsoft headset. Dear God, no. Microsoft changing what they do. I know, it's a problem. It works for everyone else. <gasps> Who knew? Oh dear. Um, but, um, yeah, so, uh, new control. This is what one of the biggest things that people thought they were going to be announcing at E3 was this new um, Xbox One. And now they've done what, in my opinion, what. Um, oh, damn it, I forgot. Bethesda has done with Fallout 4. They've kind of announced what you would have thought was going to be the biggest thing. And okay, what, what do you expect to see at Microsoft? Expect you're going to hear a lot about Halo Five Guardians. Yeah, well, that comes out at the end. Of a the year, huge apology it? about uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. First. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's going to be a new Gears game. Mm hmm. Um, Forza 6. Yep. Okay. Um, trying to think what else they've got. Which is, because uh, they said it's going to be mainly um, t exclusives, didn't they? Exclusives yeah, they, of first they party. They said that they're going to be focusing on first party this year. So it's games that. Only that they're basically going to get, which could be some PC ports, which might be Elite Dangerous. One minute, which comes out this summer. Don't forget, this is the same company that uh, said mentioned Tomb Raider as an exclusive without yeah, mentioning like, the time part that, at the end of it. That's that, <laughs> yeah, that's why I said. Yeah, that's why I said they'll probably be some PC games ported over. Yeah. Uh, Elite Dangerous that comes out this summer, so they'll probably show some of that. Yep. Um, I would like some information about um, you know the Windows 10 with the Xbox stream. Oh, you'll effect. get you'll get that. Yeah, that'll be there. Yeah. I won't mind them. Sp uh, some of the games they announced last year, the idea Xbox thing, like uh, Space Engineers and Plague Inc. and a few of them games which were we announced see. last year, which is still Should to see on the Xbox. I think this. Ghost I think that's the second. Out. That's all right. <laughs> didn't, didn't they say last year that all them games would be out within the next year? Last year. Still got a week. Yeah, they got a week. Give them a chance. You never know. We might get space. Yeah, we're going to get a Thursday. huge glut of games <laughs> next week, as well as a Steam sale, which G is going to be loving. Oh God, no! Could <laughs> you imagine the space engineers on Xbox One playing on Xbox One? Uh, it be my worst nightmare. We've got, we've got Payday Two coming out this week as well. If Payday Two. Remember. ESO Online. If you if you want to get that. Oh. Anyone got that yet? No. No. I'm I'm still thinking about it. It's one of those games where it's, I'll get it in a probably in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'd maybe pro a month I probably or two. Yeah, I'll give it a month or so to calm down. Yeah, everyone's already whinging about it. So we spoke about what you expect to see. What do you want to see from uh, Microsoft this year? I do actually want to see a new Gears game. Hmm. Well, it's more of a guarantee now. Isn't I just, it? Uh, can we just nip back to EA a minute? Another yeah. game we'll probably see, Titanfall. Two. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. They haven't brought out a new just DLC for that for a while. Just remember this minute because I was thinking of games that have been on Xbox only this year. Well, the thing is, pops into my head. well, the thing is, we've also expect to see Titanfall Two as not as a non-console exclusive anymore. We're expecting to see it for this time coming out on the PlayStation. Yeah. So um, I I would like to see that as long as they've done an actual story this time. That's the only thing I felt was lacking with um, Titanfall uh, when it first came out was the story itself. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, but it's an online, it's uh, it's based online only. I'm thinking, yeah, it's good. But one thing I've seen these past couple of years is when a game does one thing only, it has a short lifespan. Okay, Wolfenstein was a single player game as well, but you could only play that twice at most, and then once you've yeah. done it, it was over. Um, Evolve, we saw, we've saw, we seen how that completely collapsed. Within a week. Within a week, and even with Titanfall, that collapsed in... It collapsed quite quickly as well. It might be because oh, yeah. there was nothing else around it, and a lot of people were playing it, but it still collapsed extremely quickly, in my opinion. Um, even Destiny as well kind of followed the trend. Um, but I would like to see an actual story with this uh, Titanfall that you can actually play, that you don't have to be online to play it. Yeah, like when you jump to the campaign and then the game. Oh, you're with people. 
Oh. Well, you've lost. But the story continues. What? Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. You died lots sense. and you lost, but here you go. Carry on. Yeah, continue. But I lost with the other side. What, which, who's the good guys here? Oh, no, neither. You're both bad yeah. guys. What? <laughs> I would, I would like some kind of solid story with it. That's all I ask for. <laughs> I keep with the with the online thing. That is great. I love the playing online. I love jumping off walls and jumping into giant titans and stuff like that. But I want a single player story, please. Mm. Mm. Anyway, back to Microsoft. I just thought what I want to hear about. I want them to say it was AAA titles for games for gold. Actually, nail oh, some on as well. Yeah. Say which ones they're going to give us. Possibly Rise, because mm. that was a release game. It's now eight, what eighteen months old. <coughs> I would I would like them to do something with the games of gold. I think we uh, we have discussed this a few times now. We're going to discuss it again Incre in November. In possibly even increase the number mm. of uh, games they're giving. Well, the, they're getting slaughtered by Sony at the moment. It's like, for example, um, looking so look at this month alone. Um, Sony on the PlayStation 4, you've got four titles, and they are some great titles. In uh, Super Exploding Zoo, Hank T and Me's both yeah. played that. It's a brilliant and fun game to play. Um, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. It's a short game, but I highly enjoyed it. I ended yeah. shooting more people than being stealthy, but what you expect from part of Team Creeper? Um, <laughs> stealth's not our thing. <laughs> <laughs> to think, yeah. and you also, the and also you've got schools of the Shogun and um, Future Futuridium as well. Two games that I've not played yet, but I've been told are really good games. And we even and now go on to Xbox side. What did they give us? They gave us Massive Chalice <laughs> which, and Pool Nation again, weren't it? Oh yeah, Pool Nation, which has been there now for its third month, which no one liked in the first month. I played it for about 15 20 minutes then I dis de what's the word uninstalled it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of that game. Oh, but oh, it's like I even played a bit of Massive Chalice. It's not my type of game, but I bet there is people who that will enjoy it. Yeah. Um but it's, it, a lot of people have been comparing it to XCOM. Um but I no, I'm not I'm not a fan of XCOM anyway. So that's something we didn't talk about last week. Uh, X XCOM 2 um, has been announced PC only. PC only as well. So um, there and you go. They've turned around, they turn around and said they want people to play XCOM 2 forever because of modders. They actually said that's what they want. Which is nice. I like to see more commu more gaming developers actually work with their modders. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, we won't see that in a while. Um, so, uh, Doc, is there anything you would like to see come from Microsoft? Especially. No, nothing PC related. No, nah, just Windows 10, really. Mm. I, I like, can't wait. They got, they, got of, they got rid of Windows Live, so I'm more than happy. Mm. Well, it's like um, a lot of people have been talking about uh, streaming. Um, what was that? <laughs> nothing. He's sharp. Nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people have been. Oh, there's a shot. A lot of people have been saying about the streaming um, Xbox One onto your PC. Yeah. It might be their way for us to actually stream it with party chat. Yeah. Yeah. This is Sony. Uh, no, no, sorry. It's Microsoft. You're right. Yeah, they no, don't do things like gamers want. No, of course not. How many people have? How many times has people asked for party chat that works, and then party chat that we can use on Twitch? <laughs> We're still here in uh, June, and we haven't got it. Tell you what, <laughs> one thing I'd like them to do: what fix the fucking dashboard. <laughs> oh come on, it's only been a year I'm, and a I'm half. No, <laughs> I, I, I'm sick of things. Sometimes we get into a party, and you can't hear one person for whatever reason. There's no actual reason there. They jump in and out of parties. Eventually, you can hear them. Sometimes your friends list doesn't fucking load up. It says that un unfortunately it's not. Not available this time. Sometimes I can't fucking join friends games. list. <laughs> well, that was a fun start of um, Monopoly, wasn't it? <laughs> to be fair, that wasn't actually to Xbox's fault. It was kind of, I think it was uh, Ethernet fault. Yeah. An Ethernet problem. Oh. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I would like to see some more information about Windows 10. I would like them to say that 
guess what? We're going to work with Twitch and actually give us party chat. I don't care if it doesn't. I did, don't. It won't happen. But I would. I want to see that. I don't. I would like to see them starting to actually play proper catch up with the PS4 with what they're actually doing. And then you can then but between them both, you can catch up with the PC. Do you really want to start that? Anyway, let's yeah. let's move on to the next one. Sony, um, what would you like? What do you expect to hear from Sony? Um, I'm trying to think what they've got first party. Yeah, Uncharted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Uncharted, you get you. Of <coughs> well, the bundle thing are there. Well, they've already announced um, the uh, Nathan Drake collection, haven't they? Which yeah. is supposed to be coming out this year, which lets you play the first three. Inch, for, I think it's the first three, probably the fourth, because it's Golden Sun as well. Yeah. Um, on the PlayStation Four, which is basically their Halo Master Chief collection. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else they got coming out? Um, I know one thing that people are hoping for, especially since they bought the thing here, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, yeah, I want to. I want Crash Bandicoot to be announced. I'm. I want. Did you hear more about Ratchet and Clank? Oh yeah, we might hear more about Ratchet and Clank as well because the movie comes out next year. Um, probably show us a bit more about the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, what well, I've got a feeling they're going to be talking to us more about programs that are going to be on their video service. Well, yeah. haven't they gone? Haven't they gone the opposite way to Xbox and said that their first party titles are actually going to be quite sparse? Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to be relying heavily on. Third party titles, which could be going to will be going to Xbox as well. Yeah. Um, well, it depends. What the more than likely they're going to be doing because they're going to be sharing the spotlight. They'll do. Oh, we're going to have either these more DLC um, missions or stuff like that, or we'll have. They'll probably actually mention timed exclusive, not just say exclusive. Um, but I think just always fuck up on their, their announcements, and then so you just laugh at them. Like when they said about um, when they were releasing the Xbox One, they said, oh, you know, you can't trade your games in kind of thing. And then they were like, <laughs> and then, then they were, and they were like, oh my God, we, we, we want that. And Sony come along like, I will go and say that, but um, no, you can do whatever you want now, yeah. Who remembers okay. that video with the Sony execs where it said, this is how you trip <laughs> <laughs> passing the game. This is how we intend to share games. And pass yeah. a, 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 a game to one, one person to another. Oh, that was brilliant. That is. Uh, oh no, I, I should get that as a thing instead in that fourth four picture. Yeah. <laughs> that we'll, that passing we'll over moment. We do another three man, uh, thingy. Um, no, um, I, this is one thing that I've always thought about. E3 is an American um, expo, isn't it? Yeah. So why do Microsoft always take the first spot before Sony? In my opinion, that's the, always a disadvantage. So Sony can go, okay, we won't say that. We'll change we'll that to this. this yeah, yeah, I think I think it's <laughs> they think obviously they think whatever planet they fucking live on, uh, that the what their ideas they've got are good and they're going to be the, the butt talk of the expo. And then they say, oh, we'll get it in there before Sony sh showcases theirs. Mm -hmm. People we're already talking about ours. Sort of thing. Oh, well, Billy says, I love it when companies poke fun at each other. Who doesn't? <laughs> and also, because Sony's Japanese, they're probably trying to get a better time slot for Japanese uh, audience. Hmm. Well, it's not, not better for us. It's 1 bloody a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, Bethesda's is worse, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is that? Yeah, but they're, they're just at the very start of it. They're just at the very, very start of the uh, Xbox. Well, no, actually, we've been told that there's one, bef there's two things before. Um, uh, Bethesda, yeah, Oculus, is, which is going to be on the 11th of June. Uh, they're going to be talking about the Oculus stuff, and people don't care yeah, because I'd, they more I'd care about I'd never have guessed that, now. you know. Um, also, Nintendo have a special Smash Bros. Um, announcement before Bethesda's now um, a lot of people are expecting because one of the new characters um, 
is it Ness or Lucas or something like that, I don't know, is going to be coming out on that day as well, and they're going to be talking about other characters which are going to be coming to the uh, Smash Bros. universe. People are thinking Ryu from Street Fighter is going to be one of those characters. Who does not want to see Ryu um, beat up Mario? <laughs> Yeah, it'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? It would be fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more work for, yeah, more work for you, Billy. <laughs> you thought you was just going to have one deck. <laughs> uh, we might as well talk about that now. Um, we have actually got, for our podcast, um, next week, uh, we're going to be doing two podcasts, because it would be an E3. On the first podcast, which is going to be Wednesday at 9pm, it is going to be me, um, who, what am I doing? I'm doing PlayStation 3 on that day. It's going to be Billy with Nintendo, uh, Doc with Bethesda, and I think it's Hanksy with um, EA. Uh, let's have a quick check. Yeah, Hanksy, so it's going to be me with, um, like I said, me with uh, Sony's, Billy's with Nintendo, uh, Doc with Bethesda and Sh Hanksy with EA. Tune in next week and whoever's there is there. Yeah. And then we've also got another one on Thursday, 9pm again. Um, it's going to be Kaj with Microsoft, Shimmy with PC. Um, uh, me with... I can PC bashing, you can't say a dealer Scott well, Doc. We've already told you this so many times. Shimmy is a bigger PC fan I'll than go Doc. Fine, toss. <laughs> It's the fact Doc can't defend PC. Um, me with uh, Square Enix and Heavenly with Ubisoft. So uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll make sure people know about that before we um, uh, do whatever. I've been evicted from the podcast. <sighs> Don't mind about that. <laughs> uh, talking about that, uh, last couple of things then. Uh, Square Enix. What do you want to see come out of Square Enix? Uh, well, you're gonna. Well, you're going to get Final Fantasy 15. No, Final Fantasy 15. They have actually said Final Fantasy 15. There's going to be no announcements of that. Ooh. They've actually um, said that. No Final Star Fantasy. Ocean. Yeah, I want to see an actual date for the um, side of things. Have they got Tomb Raider? Uh, yeah, I think they do. Uh, Crystal Dynamics is a Tomb Raider title. Is uh, is uh, sorry, is a Square Enix company. So you you have Tomb Raider because that's out at the end of this year. Uh, what else have they got? Um, a Dragon oh, Quest see. Heroes. Um, that's probably. Gonna be I know what I want them to fucking announce. Final Fantasy VII on the fucking PS2. Four, sorry. HD Four. remaster. <laughs> no, they won't do. They won't announce that. But they did say last year that Q uh, oh, Q2 was it? Cool. Um, Kingdom Hearts Q Three. I want to see oh, some no, information. Nobody about cares. I know, but I do. A lot of people do. But, uh, well, like I say, back to what I was saying. They announced last year that Q2 2015, that Final Fantasy VII will be out on the PS4. So now we're in June. By, we should be out by the end of this month, in other words. It should be out by the end of this month. Now, <laughs> unless they're going to pull a, a fast one and say, oh, it's out today. Yeah, you can just go to the store now and download it. They're going to miss that. It's like Minecraft all over again. <laughs> Minecraft said August, it came out September. Um, yeah, there, there's going to be a few. Um, um, I can't think of anything else. What they do? Um, they do some Western titles that I completely forgot about. Well, like I said, we, one, one thing I want to see is some Kingdom Hearts free information because um, we've seen image after image of it and some gameplay ish type stuff. But I just want a goddamn date when it's ever going to be coming out. This is just mean and teasing as it's getting annoying. Wait, is that right to say? Oh, yeah, we're not. No. Don't. <laughs> well, like I said, the you know, last year me. about Final Fantasy VII, I don't expect Kingdom Hearts 3 for three years. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next one then uh, Ubisoft. What do you expect to hear from Ubisoft? Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed? Uh, Assassin's Creed, yeah. Um, some Rayman, probably. I would like to see some of their Ubi art stuff, um, new stuff that's going to be coming out from that. Uh, because don't forget, these are the same people that made Valiant Hearts and Child of Light. So they yeah. do make some beautiful games. Um, so I can't wait to see whatever they make in that area as well. Um, like I said, more Assassin's Creed is probably going to be announced as well. Um, what else do they do? 
<laughs> Expect to see tons of Ubisoft stuff. They got. Uh, they Ubisoft, have... Ubisoft. What have they got? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. No one knows. They got. Uh, they got uh, Rayman. I'll tell you what. I'll Assassin's tell you what. Creed. I wouldn't mind <laughs> a, a current trend that we've been seeing, which we've actually been doing. Some of these uh, more like board game type games coming into console. Mm. Jump Pursuit Monopoly have been huge ah, successes yeah, for us. They're Ubisoft ones, aren't they? I would like to see some well, more. Well, the true games. Pursuit was was Monopoly. Um, so, what what board game would you like to see next from them? Uh, I don't know actually. Think about it. But Yahtzee. You know, some... <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see Yahtzee? <laughs> but yeah, there's, 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 there is probably games out there which they can port to the thingy mm. console. But yeah, they, they they've done well with them. I'll give them the cheer. They did well with them. Yeah. Um, um, uh, let's move uh, move okay. on to the next one then. Um, we haven't spoken about this. What do you expect to hear from Nintendo? <laughs> I I would I I expect to hear some Star Fox. Hopefully some Metroid. Even though I made fun of Billy about it, um, I do want to see some Metroid coming out for this. Um, yeah. Um, I want to. There's more than likely going to be a Mario game. It's either going to be a sports game or a new um, 3DS. Probably some more about Mario Maker as well, because that comes out in September. It's the first. Uh, you'll pro you probably you probably get this year's Pokemon. Not been actually oh, been announced yet. Yeah, I forgot about the actual. What do you think is? What do you think's the next Pokemon? What did we have last? It was X and Y, wasn't it? No, it was. Uh... The yeah, one, Sapphire. Thing, yeah. No, I meant the last, uh, Sa the, last gen, the last gen to come out. It was X and Y. Uh, X and yeah. Y, yeah. So you could get a Z. Or X and Y 2 if it follows what Black and White did. Yeah, X and Y 2. <laughs> or it could be, what for the one? There's an X and Y, Black and White. Um, red and Blue. Mm. Gold and Silver. Pearl. I don't think they're going to be doing one of their reboots. I think, if anything, it's. No, I'm just trying to think what the. Thing it's always two things which clash, like X and Y. You could say it's like the chromosome boy and girl. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was already announced. Yeah, but it's not an actual Pokemon game where you can go and catch and, them. And uh, a... Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS E3 trailer was leaked today as well. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, uh, that's nice. I, I, well, I've been wanting to play Hyrule <laughs> Warriors actually because it, I do like the Dynasty Warriors games. Um. That's the uh, thing. We might see more Dynasty Warriors stuff from Square Enix. Oh, I, I know something we'll see from uh, Ubisoft here, sorry. Back to Ubisoft. Far Cry. Oh, God, yeah. We might see a, a, like a Blood Dragon type of and game. And we'll, also, we'll, we'll yeah. also hear about the next Just Dance game. Yeah, but that's an expect. It's something you expect now. Prince uh, of Persia? Uh, hmm. Um, not a, he's not a game really. He's sweet, not, I know, but um, yeah. Uh, one more thing before we go on to the quick update, because like I said, we wanted to make this this week's a short show. Sorry. Um, uh, PC gaming. What do you expect to hear from PC gaming? I want to see something from Valve. Just as yeah, a surprise. Valve. Uh, this is, I think a lot of it's going to be you can do more kind of hardware ish kind of thing. Yeah, it's going to be the Steam machines. They're going to do the Steam machines. machines. Um, you know, more games that are going to be coming out. Well, um, Square Enix is supposed to be mentioning something at the PC gaming thing as well, even though they've got their own press conference. <laughs> yeah, I reckon if they're doing I'll something for PC-wise, I think that could be an MMO type game. It's going to be something added to P uh, Final Fantasy XIV, if anything. Which a lot of people have been telling me is a brilliant game you should really play, but I'm not a fan of MMOs in the first place. It, so it is a really, it is a really good game, but yeah, that's, that's the um, the uh, expansion Real they're bringing out. Mm. Heaven's God. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, can uh, we just nip? Can we just nip back to Ubisoft again? Yeah, There's sure. Two games which uh, we've missed, which 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 are going to be quite big when they come out. Um, Tom Clancy's two games. Oh God, the vision. <laughs> the vision and Rainbow Six Siege. Oh God, they are actually the biggest games. No, they're they're two games which I'm quite looking forward to. I agree. Um, um, there is some games. Uh, I think this is going to be one of the biggest um, uh, E3s for a while, gaming wise. Again, so um, I think the only way that you can make it to the as big as possible 
is if say Valve does announce um, a uh, one a free game, a number free game, be Portal, Half Life, um, Left 4 Dead, and then knowing that our oh, look is going to be a Steam Machine exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> um. So uh, yeah. Uh, let, let's move on to the quick update then. Um, first of all, uh, Super Meat Boy is going to be hitting the PS4, PS Vita uh, this fall, and it will be a free PS Plus title. <laughs> We've heard that before. Yeah. Drive Club. No, 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 no. We've heard that <laughs> with Drive Club. That's the only game, but we've heard this before with other games, and they've actually come out. As, I'm not surprised with um, something like this, because it is an indie game. So, uh that is going to be one of the hardest games. I am not going to be doing the video for that. So, Hanksy, good luck. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2, <laughs> Episode 1. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Do you think we're going to see much about Telltale this um Yeah, I reckon uh, in, in Microsoft won't because they'll do uh, Minecraft Story Mode, considering Microsoft now yeah, all Minecraft. Yeah, good point. I forgot about that. Um, uh, what's... Uh, um, Oh, uh, C3PO will be in Star Wars Battlefront. C C3PO has confirmed. <laughs> is he going to do it? Talk to him. Pretty much. He's a good, he's a good character, but it's like, I don't know, can I help you today? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's going to be a Mega Man Legacy Collection remaster that will come in this um, summer, which is going to be remastering the first six games of Mega Man. I wonder why they're doing this. Might be because of Mighty Number no. Nine. <laughs> yeah. But why only the first six? Because they were the good ones. <laughs> oh, something about uh, E3. Quantum Break is going to be passing E3. Uh, next update hits at Gamescom. I, well, the show, I they completely forget gameplay. about this game. Yeah, I, I do what I don't, but um, it it showed up a gameplay. Last year, was it E3? I think so. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, they did. So I remember watching it. It actually, it was. I don't know. I didn't know what to make of it. Uh, Isn't that the one with the um, grenades that you can throw, which it distorts time or something? Yeah, it kind of stops time, so he can move to somewhere else. Where, so the, his enemies might be shooting at where he was, mm. and then he's somewhere else and he kills them. Oh, um, Billy saying. Been a long time. Walking Dead 3. No, uh, we know there's not going to be any Walking Dead 3 um, this year with Telltale, but they did say that they are going to be doing a Walking Dead special like they did with that 400 days. So, um, I expect some kind of Walking Dead Telltale game to be announced sometime this year. Um, did I hear a yay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> um... Uh, Epic's Fortnite, um, the beta will hit this fall, and it's also been uh, announced that it's going to be coming on Mac, because it was announced during um, Apple's WWDC keynote. And talking about their keynote, they're going to be focusing on games, which also includes game DVR, is going to be included with the uh, iOS 9. That's recording, isn't it? DVR, yeah, you've got game DVR on your Xbox where yeah. you want to record games. So, um, where you clips. So expect to see some uh, Apple games recorded. Yay. <laughs> oh, that, that'll be exciting, won't yeah. it? How many people are going to be doing bloody Candy Crush Saga? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we're just about it. Nope, we're just about it. Nope, don't care about that. <laughs> Um, you guys got any news stories you wanted to mention while I'm searching? Let me check my Twitter. Uh, there was something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, um, report. Uh, PS4 architect Mark Sir Kearney working on finishing The Last Guardian. So The Last Guardian is still not uh, dead. <laughs> is it me or is Doc Froze? I don't know. Yep. Oh, we've lost Doc. Oh dear. Yeah, we've lost yeah, Doc. we've lost Doc. Um, so it's just me and you now, Kaj. <laughs> oh God, um, PC gaming, man. <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, did you mention about uh, Adrift? First person? Sh no, I didn't. Um, uh, E3 2015 trailer. Uh, Space Adventure Adrift. 
By the way, we are st trying to connect back to Doc while we're speaking. There we go. Fortnite, yeah, Epic's oh. Fortnite game. Yeah, we just mentioned that it's going to be the beat is going to be starting fall. Oh, uh, autumn, sorry. Uh, F1 2015 being delayed, I think. We'll yeah, but what I've seen from it, it looks beautiful. I know. Uh. Um, uh, Witcher 3 gets an enormous console patch and new free DLC this week. Uh, um, Final Fantasy Tactics, it's Android. <laughs> okay. <laughs> new, new, new Plants vs Zombies revealed teased for Monday. Monday? When was this? This next month? I, uh, this was Wait, yeah, that four makes days ago. Why have we not heard anything yet then? Matt, 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 next Monday. Yeah, more than likely. Te and it was only teased, so not necessarily true. Doc, Doc, Doc! Yeah? Oh, you're there! We can't see yeah, you, mate. Okay. Hi. I don't, I don't know if I, I, everything crashed. Everything crushed. Well, the internet went down. So, so, no, so, uh, so at the moment, we've got Doc the Spinning Circle. <laughs> So, uh, sorry. yeah, sorry, mate. We, yeah, as long as we can hear, you, that's 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 fine. Um, oh, uh, accidentally sleep and not worry about it. Mm. Oh, um, announcement about Halo Five Guardians. All the maps are going to be free, and Xbox Live Gold is not needed for the co-op. Oh, yeah, that's. Um, are they doing away with the subscription to Xbox Live then? I doubt it. <laughs> Come on, it's the way that they make a ton of money. If they're struggling to not give us a decent game with um, games with gold, <laughs> with what money they've already got, um, and I think you're paying the same amount. I think you're actually paying less for the play PS Plus, aren't you? I can't remember. Yeah, it's something we don't notice. Um, oh, that's something we didn't mention. Uh, Dark Souls 3. R rumors are that it's going to be hitting as early 2016. Ooh. So, um, who wants a new Dark Souls game? Not me. Hey, anyway. yeah, mm. Well, it's rumoured that it's in development for the PS4, PC, and Xbox One. Um, so, uh, yeah, this this is reported from IGN at the moment, but um, it's rumours. It's not actually been a... That's all we can say about that. Rumours. Uh, there's, one, there's one game which is... Probably going to be E3. Um, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Oh God, yeah, yeah. forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> um, too many. I know. Um, uh, talking about that, um, there was rumours about a week or two ago. I think we actually mentioned it as well. Um, Silent Hills uh, probably be going to become an exclusive to Xbox One. Now, and it would prove to be bullcrap. No, I don't think it's going to be bullcrap. I think that is actually going to be announced at Microsoft. Because I find it funny that uh, Microsoft have really um, said no, 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 definitely not, definitely not. But then again, what developer, when it's going to be something that big, would actually say, yeah, okay, uh, but we was going to announce it at the end of E3. So, uh, yeah, we've got nothing now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a World of Warcraft player still, Doc? No. Oh, apparently flying's back in. Yeah, it's because everyone bitched and whinged about it and then everyone left and they thought, oh, if we bring it back, people will come back. Real, not realising they need a whole new game. <laughs> oh, Plants vs. Zombies 2 is being shown at E3. And um, Billy says, Dark Souls is mean and smelly. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Um, thanks, guys. This is our uh, e part of our E3 team. <laughs> Um, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Who's doing... Oh, wait, Hanksy's doing EA as well, isn't he? So he's going to be covering the Plants vs. Zombies 2 thing for us. So expect to hear something about that next Wednesday. Oh, that's the flying thing you've just mentioned. Um, have you guys... Is that any more stories you guys got to say, or can we yeah. move on to the next bit? No, let's move on. Let's move on. on. Okay. So, um, before we talk about new releases for this week, um, any streaming plans, any game nights planned? Starting with you, Catch. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I'm busy with work at the moment. I'm working 11 hour days, so my brain, by the time I get home, is like mush. 
I think most of them brains at the moment are mush. <laughs> yeah, but I've got a reason. Yeah. Um, but if you are going to do any sneaky streaming, where can they catch you, mate? Uh, Twitch.tv slash CAJR87. And on Twitter? CAJR87. There you go. Um, what about you, Doc? Any plans for streaming? Any game nights planned? Uh, I have. There will be streams, but I don't know when yet. Arc, Arc, Arc. I want to see more. I want to see more. Basically, see it will be Arc, yeah. Probably Thursday, Friday night. Stuff like that. See what happens. And um, if you, when you're doing any streaming, uh, where can they catch you? Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash dot Robin eighty seven. Mm-hmm. And uh, Twitter at dot Robin eighty seven. Sweet. Uh, for me, um, I have no. Well, we have got a stream planned on Friday. We're going to be doing Cards Against Humanity again. Which is well, one of our favourite uh, party games, one of our three favourite things. Um, I found a way where I don't actually have to type now. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So uh, that will be uh, around about 9pm on Friday. Um, I think we've got a few people already said that they're going to be playing, so expect another great night where we talk about stupid things. Um... Oh god, yeah, we've got Payday 2 coming out on Friday as well, so expect to see some kind of stream for that yes. sooner rather than later. Um, more than likely, just it'll be during when E3 is happening. After E3. It's going to be after <laughs> E3 now, okay. After E3. <laughs> you, th- you, you think I'm going to go to an 11-hour day, watch whatever press conferences are on, and then, and then play come, some and Payday then, 2. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm not going to sleep for, for about a week. <laughs> Um, Hanksy, thing, Hanksy says that he's going to be streaming Lego Jurassic Park and Payday 2. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a co-op carnage out of uh, Lego Jurassic Park. I would love to see that. Um, um, I, I might do a little bit more Surgeon Simulator. I've actually been having fun being a doctor in that. <laughs> oh, Bob, you Doc. have not died enough yet, mate. <laughs> Doc, shouldn't you be doing that game? <laughs> huh? Surgeon Simulator. Nah, going too much. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you, if I'm doing any stream, you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash gdw2007. I am on Twitter at gdw2007. Also, for any random pieces of news, the update and the audio version of the podcast, you can find that at craveyourgame.wordpress.com. Um, also, Crave Your Game is on Twitter as well, at Crave Your Game. Um, also, for any of our random videos, including the podcast, and this week we have um, Surgeon Simulator, me trying to do kidney transplant, and um, we've got other videos as well. Um, you can find that by searching for Crave Your Game on YouTube. Also, if you're not a member of Crave the Game, you want to be part of it and you're 18 or over, you can join us at cravethegame.net. Promise we don't bite. Unless you like that. <laughs> then no, Doc we don't do it even if you like. Then Doc will bite you. I've got a bit of news. <laughs> yeah, it involves me. UGD, it involves Hanks, it involves Heavenly. And smart thing. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you at Trivial Street. I'm smarter than you. I'd like I to point out, I, we played four. By the way, we're not going to spoil anything about this because we've got some footage which hopefully Doc's been banished from time and space. <laughs> I wish I had a, a, a quick picture just to put there, but I haven't. <laughs> um, that, that's something I'm going to plan in future now. Um, yeah, well, I don't want to spoil too much about Trivial Pursuit. We've been playing a bit of that. Uh, so hopefully we'll be seeing some videos up on the uh, YouTube channel of the four games that we've played. Probably you won't be able to hear Kaj. But don't worry, that's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, find that at cre- uh, by searching for Crave Your Game on YouTube. We have a ton of great videos there. Including, really? yeah, including um, le- this weekend... Are um, money in the bank predictions, which we've still got to record. <laughs> uh, and when we got news that there's now a seventh person in the money in the bank. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Oh shit. <laughs> so we'll oh. see see what happens with us when we. When do are we that. actually doing that? Uh, probably either be Thursday or Considering Friday. Considering it's this Sunday. Tomorrow. Do you want to do some recording? Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. See you going tomorrow <laughs> or Friday. <laughs> it can't be tomorrow. Yep. We could do Friday. I uh, am available Friday we, for a we change. We can do Friday. We've got cards issue against humanity. Yeah, but that's not going to be until later, isn't it? It shouldn't take us that long to do the recording, should it? I don't know. Have you seen him on the main game on WWE? We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> think of something. We'll, we'll either be doing some recording tomorrow or we'll be doing recording on Friday. We'll probably be doing it on both days knowing our luck. <laughs> um, Hi, so Super Ho Ho. Hi. How you doing? Ru Hi, Russia. And you too. How many people we got? <laughs> Hi, Doc. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the new releases of this week. Starting with um, Friday, the 12th of June, um, we have Lego Jurassic World coming out on the 360, PS3, Wii U, Xbox One, PS4, PC, 3DS, and PS Vita. Yeah, that's on everything, except for Ilya and mobile. We'll give it a chance. It'll probably come on there sooner or later. Um, also, Do anything, does anything actually end up come out for Ouya, the U Ouya? Shit, the Ouya's dead, mate. I guess if anything comes, that's out, why I'm asking. Yeah, I think if anything comes out on it, it's like we don't care about this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't forget, we've seen games come up for the Dreamcast <laughs> while we've been doing this podcast. <laughs> Have we? Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition comes out on the Xbox One and PS4. Also, because I think we're not going to have time to talk about it next week, um, Friday, the 19th of June, um, games coming out is MotoGP 15 on the 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Harvest Moon, The Lost Valley, comes out on the 3DS. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yes. Um, and yeah. um, Le Tour de France Season 2015 comes out on the PS3, Xbox One, and PS4. I think you should stream that, GD. No, I am never I doing really another like Tour de France game. That was hell. <laughs> I think you should do it. Oh, fuck off. No. If, any, if anyone in the stream thinks GD should have streamed the Tour de France. 24 hours for charity. For 24 hours no, for charity. No, don't. Please start doing this. I'll probably do it, but don't say, do this. Say yes in the chat. While they're doing that, I might as well talk about Tuesdays um, as well. Batman Arkham Knight comes out on the Xbox One, PS4, oh, and Tuesday. PC digital only. Bastards. Um, this is not this Tuesday, this is Tuesday the 25th. I know, but it's still a Tuesday. I can't yeah. collect anything on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Um, Possibly Planet, Friday. Planet Side 2 comes out on the PS4 digital only. Um, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition comes out on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Sword, Heaven Sword comes out, Heaven's Ward, sorry, comes out on the PS3, PS4, and PC. So that's the expansion to um, Final Fantasy XIV. So yeah, that is the games coming out for the next two weeks. The reason why we're doing two weeks is because we won't probably have time to talk about it next week. Oh, fuck off. You, you, you're doing it in GD, <laughs> I'm afraid. You are doing a 24 hour stream for charity. No, you can't do that just friends. because Shimmy said so. No, actually, Doc said, <laughs> I said so. so. Jimmy and and, and uh, me and Shimmy both agree. We'll do a, We'll do something. Uh, we'll plan something. You know, know, you'll be, you'll yeah, be doing we'll, something. We'll plan something. We won't be, we'll be we laughing. We'll plan something. Just now, at the moment, we've got two. 24 we'll, hours for charity. We've got E3 to I've get done it first. Twice. I know you've done it twice. <laughs> So, oh, um, Billy says do it. I really am not in the. We'll, we'll let's get through E3 first. <laughs> Don't bring excuses. I am bringing excuses. Let's get through E3. Through E3. He's got no. He's got to book himself up solidly every night. He's going to be streaming something. It's streaming something. Yes. Um. <laughs> so um, I think that is it. Uh, shit, we haven't got a guess. That means it's me doing the ending. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you for joining us for the CTG podcast on the 10th of June. Remember, next week we are going to be doing two podcasts. That's one on the Wednesday and one on the Thursday because it being E3. Um, also, tune in to um, our damn it, Cards Against Humanity on my channel. Um, I think, uh, are you two thinking of joining us for that? I'll probably be there. Uh, I'm always there. Are you working Not on Friday? Sure. <laughs> I'll be busy on 
Oh, come on, man. You can leave art just to make fun of people on this card game, which is actually quite awesome. Yeah, play art, yeah. You know, I can't. Yeah, we'll do it when it comes out on <laughs> PS4. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so thank you for joining us. Uh, like I said, um, po two podcasts next week. Um, blah, blah, blah. I can't think of anything to put here, but thank you. And um, we will see you next... Well, me and Doc will see you next week on Wednesday. And then me yes. and Kaj will see you next week on the Thursday. Goodbye. Nah. Bye. There we are. Another video over and done with. Yay! Yay! That was Yay. a good one. I like that one. Yeah, that's uh, good. But I've got a feeling if people enjoyed this video, I think they would enjoy other videos that we've done, and they can the find many, that. many, many videos. We many, have. many videos that we've done, and um, where can they find those videos? May I ask? Uh, YouTube, clearly. <laughs> yes. Just search for Create Your Game <laughs> or press yes. that little logo. Just underneath to the I think it's down near the left of it it's down to the left it's down to the left so click there go and watch more videos for example we've got um, Hanksy who's played um, Worms Battlegrounds this week yep uh, we've also got our Battle of the Craver um, round 7 where we played runners. that is a brilliant game zipping about oh, uh, brilliant I can't wait to do another video of that sooner or later yeah we will we will we definitely will also, um, me and Billy um, are part three of our Mind Z survival. Ah, uh, um, Minecraft Zombies. Yeah, this time we go to Portsmouth. What do I go there for? I don't know. Our, all roads lead to Portsmouth, it seems. No, they don't. They do in this game. They run away. Yeah. <laughs> also, we've got uh, we've done all the PlayStation Plus games have come out. So yeah. far, we've done um, Super Ex Hanksy's done Super Exploding Zoo. And future future idiom, yeah, which look quite good. And um, I've done uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Well, you did, yes, yeah, sort of. Um, sort of with your seven percent. Who puts who puts a member of Team Creeper in a stealth game? <laughs> also, we had the CTG podcast episode forty four, where we talked about um, the great the Grand Squid Heist. Um, a game called Fallout 4? I don't know what uh, some, some, Yeah, some uh, default what's it game. It's going to be an indie title, so it's going to be popular, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah um, right. I might try out. Also, I think Billy had... We kind of made Billy snap a little bit about Nintendo. <laughs> I think I made Cadge snap a little bit. Oh, with the PC stuff as well. That yeah, it's the reason, only reason I do it. Uh. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you can always like. If you enjoy our videos, you can always subscribe. Or yes. you can go for the update, the audio version of the podcast, and any random pieces of news. You can find that at graveyourgame.wordpress.com. Also, if you want to join me and Doc and become a member of Crave the Game, as long as you're 18 or over, you can join us at cravethegame.net. It's good. It's good. I think we should watch another video. I'm at it's dirt. Yeah. What what have we got? We got here. Oh, well, I'm clicking that video. Liza Minnelli. Yo. <laughs> <laughs>